On tonight's show, we are going to do what Andrew said, and I quote, is the dumbest thing we've ever done. Hilarious offseason decisions the Saints should make. And I'm calling it audible. These people talking about Taysom Hill not being worth the money can burn in hell. Thomas, hit that intro. Award-winning Saints Happy Hour podcast. Seriously, this podcast has won awards. American standards are dropping every day. The show features Ralph, the best host in the world, who can barely pronounce his own name, much less anyone else's. Marcus Colson, Colston, I mean, uh, Marcus Calloway. Dave is that dude who loves taking bathroom breaks. He's mad about almost anything, so make sure to lower your volume when he speaks. Put that freaking clown meme back up that I made. Jesus Christ. Andrew has sources, watches tapes, and knows football. He rarely shows up on time and wants to commit crimes to help the Saints win. Sean Payton would have done illegal things. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because you know it's true. Oh, and there's also Kevin, who is great at doing mock drafts, but struggles to actually watch Saints games or have a functioning relationship. Budrich wants to know how uh, the doctor's doing. That that ended. Anyway, grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy the insanity. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Saints Happy Hour Podcast. I'm Ralph Marlboro. I'm joined by Dave, Andrew, and Kevin. The whole gang's here. Also, hello to everybody watching on the live stream on Twitch right now. I can see Jerry, Jason Champagne, Budrich, Andrew's dad, ton of people in there. Your boy, Alan. Uh, it's freaking. Amazing. Run amok, run amok, Jason Champagne. Yeah, it's all, they're all here. They're, it's great. Jerry. Jerry. On tonight's show, we are going to decide what's the funniest outcome for the 2024 Saints offseason. Uh, we're going to add one luxury item to the 2024 Saints. And Thomas, I'm calling an audible. Taysom Hill equals clicks. And we are going to talk about people disparaging him and saying he makes too much money. Uh, well, plus we're gonna, before, gonna before you go any further, Ralph, how do you spell the word luxury? I hate you. L-U-X-O-R-Y. Final answer. What? <laughs> so for, for, for those of you, he's serious. Amazing, too. amazing. Yeah, he's serious. What, what's amazing is that at one point today when Ralph was framing the show for us. Yesterday. We're, he, he, yeah. Yesterday, he texts the group and the word luxury, it, it was like a shotgun approach <laughs> where he spelled it three different ways within the same text. Yeah. He's covering his base. He's like, yeah, I, 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 could, I could see, and Rob, I've, I've been friends yeah. with Ralph long enough. He's like, well, surely one of these is right. If I, right. Here you if go. I take three shots at it, one of them will be right. So anyway, yeah. there you go. Luxury. I even mix in Luxor, the hotel. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm dependent on spell check. I'm an old man. Um, before we start, remember to subscribe to Saints Happy Hour wherever you get your podcast. Uh, and I have to mention the MVP contest. Your Listener podcast. Vince in oh, Maine yeah. sent us a signed Deuce McAllister jersey. So we're going to raffle that thing off. The weekly MVP gets their shot at having a signed jersey from a Saints legend. Plus now uh, I get to this top of the line executive whiteboard behind me. All the MVP winners are listed. Uh, and the MVP winner from each week gets to write on the whiteboard for the no, next No, you're going to do the writing. No, they're not going to write. You're going to do the they're writing. They're going to tell me you have what to write, write it with the you have to write it with the bad hand. <laughs> that going to be illegible. Um, you can tell me what you want to write, and as long as it's PG rated, uh, you can write anything you want. Like tonight, why does it have to be PG rated? This this podcast that doesn't is not that PG doesn't look F, F U Andrew Juge doesn't seem very PG. Ralph. It's PG. I think it would slide. I think it would. Be by, PG. by the way, I like Fuck that you, you have Andrew a fat Juge. head. I like that you have a fat head of Jimmy Graham uh, canoeing the Arctic That's behind right. you. I hope he yeah. doesn't die. That sounds yeah. really dangerous. Um, okay, it can be it can be R rated, fine. But the MVP each week gets to write whatever they want uh, on the board. As long as R rated not, within reason, within reason, like we deserve the right to like refuse. You, yeah, you're like you can't, you can't do like. I mean, you can make fun of me, and you can make fun of anybody on the podcast, but you can't make like you know, you can't do like uh, 
ethics. certain things. You just you can't do you know like, certain look, it's things. It's like the Supreme Court talking about pornography. You know it when you see you it. You see it. It's right. Um, <laughs> And if we reach $100 <laughs> in donations Jesus. tonight, the MVP will choose which mini bar bottle from my gigantic mini bar booze collection, which is dwindling. Send me more booze. I need it to poison myself. Uh, tonight's choice is, Dave, uh, Long Island oh iced tea. Uh, that oh. seems disgusting. And, of course, the uh, Monadula drop shot, which oh, we damn. know is just oh. gross. Um, Long Island Ice Tea has to be, I think, God, probably one so of the bad. worst things to come out of uh, Long Island. Yeah. I, I, I hate that that's associated with Long Island. Yeah, the drink is terrible, yeah. terrible drink. I've the, never had. So I've never waffle, had it. It's going to be new for me. My waffles are almost done, so can we just do what we're drinking? Oh Let me go first. Yeah, go uh, ahead, Kevin. So I, I, I was at the grocery store earlier on my is way it? home from work. I decided to hell with it. I haven't had anything on the pod, or oh, I haven't God. had any booze in the house in a while. Come and uh, decided, time to bring the uncle home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uncle Billy. nearest, 1884. Let me ask you a question. How much is a bottle of that? Uh, about 50 bucks. Oh, it is good. Okay, so that's what I was going to say. It's good because, stuff. It's good yeah, shit. I, I, I didn't realize that. Proof. I proof. Yeah. 46.5% alcohol by volume. You know, when you when you first drank that, I, I always kind of assumed that it was garbage. And that was all you could afford. Um, Jesus. but I've been, I've been to a, a few proud. nice, wow. I've, I've been to a few nice restaurants since then. And I've noticed that they use uncle nearest in a lot of their fancy cocktails. And I always thought that was weird. And now I realize that it's because it's a nice, yes, maybe, maybe nice just maybe Kevin has good taste, Dave. Yeah. yeah. I, maybe, I know he maybe, has good taste. Maybe but he's, he's more bougie than us. Yeah, maybe. he's poor, but he's poor. I'm drinking live oak. <laughs> Heffenweissen. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin is not, I will never, uh, at, yeah. at, not I'm once. I'm so bougie. Yeah, I'm right, so exactly. Bougie. I'm eating fucking waffles for yeah. dinner. Kevin, Kevin, I'm on your side. I will never for once ever think that you could even be close, remotely close to me or Andrew uh, in the bougie uh, meeting. So what are you drinking, Dave? I'm on the uh, Parish Ghost in the Machine uh, yeah. kick. Mm. Andrew? Uh, I've talked about this uh, distillery before. In fact, uh, my buddy James, who came to the podcast, turned me on to this, the Kill Devil Rum in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Uh, I'm drinking the silver right now. In fact, I'm due for another. Yeah. Um, I want to remind people, consider donating via stream elements by typing in exclamation point donate in the chat and click the link that appears. Twitch takes about 50% of the cut when you donate using bits. So this way you spend less money. It's easier to get me drunk. It's a win-win. Even Andrew can do it. And remember, the best $20 you can spend anywhere on the internet, text-to-speech donation, $20. You donate $20, you type in your text, and British Robot Guy interrupts the show. Boom, he'll repeat whatever you say. Thomas, uh, do we have a leader, MVP leader yet? Uh, no, nobody's no donated No donations anything. so far, so... Saints Rabbit uh, won last week wow. with 98.3 bucks. So oh, that's you can up. have your name on the whiteboard. Yeah, he's on the MVP whiteboard. You can see, guys. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there oh, we speaking go. Speaking of, Andy Marino, five thanks bucks. for five thank, thank cruise and becoming the new MVP leader. All right, so... I don't, I don't think Ali Marino ever won. So, you know, that would be a first. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we'll so, challenge. That's a challenge uh, from Thomas. Sounds yes. like. So we got Saints news. Kubiak al- arrived in NOLA. He took the tour of the facility, had Chipotle. What you do, I guess, in New Orleans. I don't know. Chipotle. Wait, uh, why, did, why, why do you say that? Why, I missed that story. What happened? It's just, he just, they, all, the, all the, the, the assistant coaches, the new ones, like made it to New Orleans on Saturday. They took a tour. I, the, the Chipotle is just a David Carr joke uh <laughs> the saints hired a bunch of assistants say chipotle never... what say chipotle chipotle say... no ralph say no. Is his name right i'm sorry you're ma- you're married to ralph, a mexican ralph, say, it ralph, say it again ralph say it again sally i need assistance <laughs> uh, sally i need a dictionary Wait, sorry sorry hey, I'm, sally, I'm, I'm getting here assistance. late was, was he just trying to say chipotle Yes. 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 Say that again. Chipotle. Oh my god. <laughs> His son is half Mexican. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, so, the you know, my mom does that too. What? Miss calls it Chipotle? Like, just like Ralph. She can't calls do it, it. Calls it cheap, cheap hotel? Ch- Chipotle. Ch- how does she do it? She says Chipotle. Yeah, it's like the L before the T, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Chipotle, or yeah, she can't do it. She can't do it. I'm like, it's Chipotle. (laughs) Like, how can you not say this? Al de Mourinho is being really mean. He said, maybe he's having a stroke. Ralph, can you smell toast? (laughs) (laughs) That is just wow. Um, so how how did Chipotle come up while I was gone? Because it it was, I was trying to make a, uh, I was trying to make a Derek Carr joke about how he was. Uh, wanting to go to Chipotle when he came to New Orleans, <laughs> right? Um, so the Saints hired a bunch of assistants we've never heard of. Oh, my uh, God. But, but we get all excited. Should we end the show there? I mean, should, yeah. how are we going to top that? You can't. <laughs> you can't. Chipotle. I mean, uh, Chipotle. Now, I'm, I'm, now, I'm to, now I'm totally discombobulated. But That's the Saints, how he wrote it down in the rundown, by the way, guys. Wait till we, wait till we get how, to the Saints Lux, Luxor how item. How on earth can Ralph pronounce discombobulated, but he can't pronounce Chipotle? Like, he's what a, is he's that? He's Rain Man. I don't know. Like, it's, say it again, real slow. Say it. Ch- Ch- Chipotle. Chipotle? Chipotle? I can't do Chipo- it. Man, I, Chipotle. Like he's, he physically can't. I, like can't, you know I the can't. potato chip lays. It ends with lay. Chipotle. Chipotle. Hey! All right. We need the siren. We need the siren. Fire. There we go. So the Saints hired a bunch of assistants, Kevin, uh, and the smart kids are telling us these assistants, which names we've never heard of. Are great. Like the Saints, they hired this wide receiver coach, assistant wide receiver coach from Baltimore, who was apparently like a oh, personal, home run. Home personal run. coach for Tariq Hill. Oh, yeah. And people are like, it's a home run. They could have hired Nick Toon. And people would be like, yeah, it's a home run. Oh, it's yeah. It's Olave's getting 150 catches. Like, like yeah. uh, this yeah. is where I want to start tonight's show, Kevin, is the all the smart people and everybody on Twitter, aren't we just saying, these home run, these these hires are home runs because we like the the Kubiak hire. If we didn't like the Kubiak hire, we'd be like, "You are hiring a bunch of bombs." But we like the Kubiak hire, so we're like, "Ah, oh, that guy's a good hire." Yeah, I mean that's football fandom. You get a good hire, you get really enthusiastic about it. Other guy, other people get hired who look. Maybe they, I don't know, maybe they don't seem terrible. So therefore, oh, this is good. Yeah, I feel pumped about this. I can see them working like this. You know, I can see how the pieces fit together. Uh, Clint, uh, Alexander Kubiak. Alexander is his middle name, Dave. I, I checked. So crisis <laughs> it's Alexander. Alexander. Where did you where did you find that? Because I, I was on his Wikipedia. I he, could not he, find he, that. he doesn't spell out Ale- just to be clear, he doesn't spell Alexander with a K, right? There is no K in his middle name. Okay, okay good. Now well, okay. you know now wait now, a minute. He now, has- now, now Papa Kubiak named all three of his sons yeah, names that right. start with a K. So right. maybe maybe pull Gary aside for a little bit of light questioning. But other than that, <laughs> um <laughs> other than no, that, you pray. <laughs> You don't. You frame it as triple K. <laughs> you frame it as triple K, not the other one, Kevin. That's how you um, do it. So, well, but the other sons. What are their middle names? We need to. Yeah, uh, we need to fully vet this. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'll get please. to that in a minute. Because the, the, <laughs> the point is, is that fan bases everywhere tend to get enthusiastic about stuff like this. Like after the draft, look at what. Go watch how many fan bases are going to say, man, that was a pretty good draft. That was a pretty good draft. I think I'd probably give us like a B plus maybe, maybe a B plus, you know, when the schedules get released. How many fan bases are going to be like, tell you what, I can feasibly see us getting 11 wins. It's, it's, not, out of the, it's not out of the cards. Oh, child run in. Oh, uh, adorable. 11 wins is not out of the cards, you know. It, it's just, that's the way fan bases are. We're not immune to that. 
Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm with I'm with Kevin here. And Ralph, I think you said it like they could have hired Nick Toon and we'd be freaking out thinking it's the greatest thing. I, I'm done. I, they could have hired like, Al Toon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am, probably I, would I, prefer Al Toon to Nick Toon. In <laughs> fairness, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm I'm the youngest person on this podcast, and I have the least amount of time as a Saints fan compared to the rest of you guys. And even I know that this is just the same crap uh, if, if you hold on a second if you no, if no, you no, count no. that if you count the time that kevin stopped paying attention i think you might yeah, have okay. more years maybe, than him maybe maybe but i mean thomas could pull up the sound bite from the podcast we did february 20th 2023 after they made whatever moves and it's probably all of the bunch of the same crap we don't know anything we don't know if these are good news moves we have no idea on paper maybe they're good new moves uh you know there is such a thing like you said as chemistry yeah. and, and whether Time they click together and all that stuff like i'm not like i have no idea i have no idea i'm done i'm done getting myself hyped up in february you know i I'll, i will get hyped up over a draft pick i'll get hyped up over uh a big free agent signing but i'm not going to get hyped up over a running backs coach or, or whatever <laughs> like this is game ridiculous. coordinator this is Run ridiculous. game coordinator yeah y'all are just thirsty mofos right now and it shows and you look desperate uh and i'm just uh i'm 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 just sitting here. I'm, I'm well, uh, you know, I will say, I, 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 th- I think there's two ways to play this. This is ridiculous. The, the first yeah. is that, you know, Dennis Allen overhauled his defensive staff pretty significantly last year, last off season. Mm-hmm. And for the most part, the fan base was irate. It was like, Oh, that he got this guy from the Raiders, this guy from the Browns. Those units are awful. And he kind of hedged towards guys that he knew, guys that he trusted, older guys with experience. And for the most part, the fan base, the media kind of crushed him for it. And a year later, the defense, despite very little pass rush, despite some limitations, I think consensus is that they were coached very well. That the the adjustments that they made were quite strong. And so and I did, think a year later, the, sorry, go ahead, Ralph. And they did the one thing that he said when he made the changes and all summer, they're like, we got to get more turnovers. We got to get yeah. more turnovers. And they did. And they yeah, did. yeah, and they great did point. They and really they did. did. They transformed they did. Torch better. Yeah, yeah. Do your job. That's I what mean, it's about. Complete 180 in the turnover department, right. for sure. Yep. So I, I think from a coaching standpoint, on that side of the ball, and I'm not mm-hmm. getting into Dennis Allen and how he is as a leader and all that. I mean, I, I think we see that clearly, but it just purely in terms of X's and O's and how they coach defense, I actually thought those hires were good and they made a big step forward. Mm-hmm. And so I think there's kind of two ways of looking at this. It's like, number one, it's like maybe the things that you think are amazing aren't going to live up to expectations. And sometimes the things that you think suck are actually good moves. Right. And maybe this won't be as good as you expect. Or, I mean, Dennis Allen, look, he, he lost he Chris Richard, who was like the golden child of the fan base. He lost Ryan Nielsen, who the internal reviews were mixed. Some guys I talked to were like, yeah, that's a big loss. Some of my sources were like, that's a big loss. They love Nielsen. Other sources I talked to were like, I have a special nickname for him. He's terrible. Like, I'm so glad he's gone. So, you know, look, they lost a lot on that side of the ball and they replaced it well. And so it makes me curious to see how this staff does this. This staff on offense comes with higher expectations because the fan base is excited about it. But now we do have a little history from last offseason of Dennis Allen making good hires. We can only hope that the, the one thing I was yeah, gonna but s- Dennis Allen's still here. <laughs> Dennis Allen is such a bad interview. He was on like the NFL channel, like they are they are like around the Horn Show or whatever, and they were talking about Quebec. He is so boring and bad. Like the same oh, the interception, oh. Matt Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make Ralph Ralph. 
Thanks for that golf uh, oh, 2083 like like donation wow, and you, becoming the new you. MVP leader. Also, thanks to Ranamok for 10 buck cruise. We really, we really aren't, aren't doing enough puns with, with Ralph's name That's right. and the whole drinking thing. Um, so the TikTokers are all into luxury brands or pretend luxury or cheap luxury or more or murdering to keep Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, the sexiest couple on earth. So my question to you gentlemen is, and Andrew says, this is the dumbest thing we've ever done, which is a long list, by the way. Um, I said to (laughs) the bracket in itself. It's a bracket in itself. (laughs) If you could add one luxury item to the 2024 Saints, what would it be? See, this is why I hate this. This is why I hate this. It's like, do do you mean like a player? Do you mean like a a, a object? Well, see, like, like that's the thing. Like, well, he says luxury items. So, like, if he's, you would think if he was talking about a player, he would say, what what luxury player would you add? But he leaves it ambiguous by saying item. So, like. You know, the answer could be like you said, like it could be an ice cream machine. Like, you know, maybe yeah. they want to get an ice cream. A, a, Props a to Thomas. Like, Props can to I, Thomas can I ask for, for Ralph to have a good arm? Does that famous. count as a luxury item? <laughs> <laughs> luxury item for me? I don't know if it would be a luxury item for the Saints. Thomas, nice job with Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous playing. The and I'm, I'm Robin Leach. Is he still alive? I don't no. think so. I've been dead for years. Really? Oh, deception! Mm-hmm. Deception! Mm-hmm. Ralph demands luxury and can't even spell it. Andy Jewel, 28 <laughs> to 3, matching who that golfers MVP. That's so mean. But I'm going to start out with my luxury. Robin Leach died August 24th, 2018, just shy of his 77th birthday. It's not that. Well, that is kind of a far t- long time ago. All right, I'll go first. My luxury item is it's luxury for the Saints. It's luxury for the podcast. It's luxury mm-hmm. for everybody. Mm-hmm. Thomas Morstead. Oh, to the, to yeah. The Saints as the punter. And here's the reason. Well, I, I, would, I would also gain a Is source. Is that a luxury? That That's a luxury. One, we gain Why? a source. We gain a source in the uh, building. Yeah, we gain a source. I'm, I have a texting relationship he with has, Thomas. Thomas. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. Uh, Andrew has a relationship with Thomas Morstead. That's good. Uh. He's a friend of the podcast. He might even come on the podcast after he would sign with the Saints and we could have a big, do huge numbers, maybe uh, get more sponsorships, grow the audience. That would be great for us. But also a side benefit, Dave, is when Dennis Allen tells Lou Headley that he's no longer the Saints punter, Dennis Allen might not be the Saints coach anymore because he might be at the bottom of Lake Pontchartrain. (laughs) Because <laughs> I wouldn't want to tell Lou Headley that he's not. Uh, I'm texting Timo right now, and I'm going to ask him. Ask him. Chan- uh, chan- chances are of him coming back. So that ask, ask him. Ask him uh, if he wants me to take him out to play golf. I'll take him out. To so play, that's play my. Golf. I know he lives near me. Dave, you missed a golden opportunity. You could have asked him what's his favorite New York slice there. <laughs> no, <laughs> he doesn't know. Because he still lives in Old Metairie near here. He like oh. he probably comes home every weekend. He probably spends zero time in New York. So uh, that's other than. So that's my Saints luxury York. item. That's what I want. It's it. That's so. It. So your item is a player. As a it human can be being. a player, but it could be an ice cream machine if you want it to be, as long as it's luxurious. It That's can be what I want. You want. But it has to be for the Saints. It can't be the for the fans. Like my first thing was like I, I had all a whole bunch of different ideas, but they were all like for Just me. Like, well, good food in the Superdome. How about that? Let's start <laughs> with that. Uh, can I get a decent freaking uh, again? I, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. And th- and th- it's the same. Just like the air. Okay. Well, let me back up. You know, you go to the New Orleans airport now. At New Orleans, we re- we built New a whole Orleans new Air- New Orleans airport is awesome. Yeah, we built a whole we built a whole new airport, and part of it was like we brought in local companies uh, to have s- restaurants and shops. Leah Chase, uh, you know, Midway Pizza, whatever. Um, the, the, the CNBC store is a little weird, but that's yeah. like in every that's in every airport. No, uh, it's not. No, it's not. All right. Uh, but yet in the Superdome, we don't have that. We don't have, there's no Emeralds pop up or red thing or, uh, well, John Besh has been canceled, so we're not going to do him, uh, you know, Alon <laughs> Shia, uh, whatever. A- any of the famous New Orleans 
restaurant tours. There's none of that. It's just all the same stuff. And I get it. Like, you know, for the most part, it's a stadium. You've got to fill, feed the masses. But I, I still think that I've been to other stadiums in, in different sports. They have local yes, companies that come and do that. Like, it is an abomination, an abomination. Like, and like, Chick not- like Chick-fil-A for the Falcons? Yeah. 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 Uh, it is an uh, abomination. I, I, hey, I'm not kidding. Thomas Morstead's calling me. <laughs> Answer it. I got to An- take this. No, no, wait. I got to take this. Tell him you're on the podcast. No, no. T- ask him if he'll come on the show. Ask, ask him if he'll come on the show. All right. But meanwhile, let me finish my rant. Uh, I, like, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy to me. And we're, and we're hosting the Super Bowl next year. Shut you know, up. We, 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 we do it with our music. Kermit Ruffins announced he got the call to perform at halftime. Like, you know, when it comes to the music, they bring in local stuff. They don't That's bring right. in, uh, you know, it's not like they're bringing in whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. a, a national act like so why do That's we do true. that for the food why I, it makes no sense for me but again that it does not really answer the spirit of your question so uh, so so do you think you, there you're, should you're be like, like there should like they should be serving like andouille they serve they serve new orleans dishes they serve jambalaya and it's just not uh, like alligator local sausage new orleans restaurants but, you know but instead of having yeah, I mean they. Yes, it should just be. They should. Like, I, they don't have I don't know. Like they Anderson should have still in the Oh Superdome. yes, stay zoomed in on this. Uh, is Mike they, Anderson they still around? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, like, Mike they, Anderson's is still you around. You could have Deanies. You could have Bud's Broiler. You could have. Hold on, I'm texting. I'm I'm texting Andrew and the group right Wait, now. Hey, no, no, no. Get... <laughs> Juge, see, Juge should have stayed. Yes, Juge should stay right here. Stay in the pocket. And pace back and forth. This honestly looks like a draft day cutaway where, where, <laughs> right. like, like, where they, like where they cut to Cliff Kingsbury in Arizona and he's sitting in his in his luxurious mansion staring at a television, a giant fireplace. Like, this is great. Just t- like, five minutes. Dog Give on us the five chat. minutes. T- uh, t- I'm, I'm, I'm texting him right now. I'm saying, I said, get him on the pod right now. Tell him we're recording. Like, you know, I'm not, no, no, we, we don't no, need, no. we're not trying to, we're not trying to. Train. We're not him trying to amb- back and forth is great. We're not trying I, to ambush no, this him. Is perfect. Uh, we want to legit like just give us five minutes. Five minutes. We're not trying to ambush him. Good pun, Dave. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even think about it. I that was totally unintentional. So, Kevin, do you have any luxury item you want for the Saints, brother? Give me an ice cream machine. Ice cream. That's what I want. <laughs> give me an ice cream machine. Give me trips to uh, Waveland or whatever the hell it is, and uh, some more woods to chop for the A. In, in in Bay St. Louis or wherever that is, just make sure that the guys so, go down on the pads and not by and not without. I mean, listen, the Saints they aren't going to do they aren't going to spend a crazy amount in free agency. But I, like, if they did something wild, like a luxury item for me, I didn't realize that. Like, I didn't realize like Andrew had a relationship where Thomas Morrison would call him. I thought he would just like DM him every once in a while. I, like now, I, if we don't get Thomas Morrison on the show, if he's the Saints punter, I'm going to be very disappointed in Andrew. Um, but wouldn't it be funny if he's just fucking with us? It would be like that. He showed the phone. I couldn't read it, but uh, he did show the phone. He's like, "What can I do to to be on the podcast, but not be on the podcast? I could fake a call <laughs> from Thomas Morstead. Um Thomas, Thomas, I wish this had, I wish this had happened before your stupid luxury question, so we could have just skipped it. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Do we have a donation update? <laughs> yes, Circle Dot Golfer is still in the lead, tied with Andrew, uh, uh, Run Amok. With Temba Cruz and Aldi well, Mourinho. Listen, place. Dave, it's the off. It's the off we season. Are than, we are less than thirty bucks away from getting Ralph wasted. It, it's the off season, Dave, baby. You can you can get on the text chain and say, Ralph, I want to do this as a topic. I'm open for business. I ain't gonna <laughs> I ain't gonna argue with you about <laughs> topics, man. Because we're like three <laughs> weeks away from free agency. The Saints are eighty million over the cap, like. I'm open for business. I'm open for ideas. People in the chat, if you want to come up with the show rundown for next week, you're welcome to as well. Just do it in the chat, and maybe we'll pick your topic. Um, so, I mean, Kevin, is Andrew coming back or what? I don't like, know. What the fuck is going on here? Like, I don't hey, – Kevin, <laughs> how long is this conversation going to go on? Like, he's got to – if he doesn't come back with more stead on speakerphone, I'm going to be pissed. That's right. So, Kevin, <clears throat> everybody talks – Everybody talks about the Saints cap. Wait a minute. Is, is this a, did this become like a sexual thing maybe with him and Morstead? I don't know. Wow. This got weird. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so everybody talks about the Saints cap issues, Kevin, and they want to talk yeah. about uh, and who the Saints want to draft and the offseason. We discussed it all, right, from every different angle. Yeah. But what's the funniest thing that the Saints could do this offseason? Wait, you mean salary cap wise? Anything? No, like anything. Sign a player, oh, no, I mean, look, draft, the funniest, trade. Listen, What's the funniest, the funniest thing? thing? The funniest thing that could happen would be okay. Mike, the funniest. Ooh, go ahead. I have two. I have two different scenarios. They both okay. involve Michael Thomas. Okay. Uh, One, mm -hmm. Michael Thomas punches Dennis Allen, knocks him out, but breaks his hand in the process. That would be funny. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> we're okay. We're really thinking outside the box. Here. And right. then two, and then two, two. Michael Thomas gets arrested for speeding again, but who comes and bails him out? Derek Carr. Wow. This uh, is happening. Uh, was... Loop up. <laughs> okay. All right. You, well, you might have won. I was going to say we trade our first round pick back to Denver and we get Peyton back. That could be fun. The, I was thinking, see, I but was I thinking. Of, Derek I was thinking. Carr, Derek Carr and Mike Thomas making up and then. No, but the, the rest the rest of the story then has to be that they form a connection and then Mike Thomas has 1,400 yards next season. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. Oh, well, right, right. Derek, Derek goes and bails him out of jail. Mike Thomas suddenly, like. Yeah, this is my guy. You know, this is my guy. This is my guy. Yeah. Derek Carr is like, look, we sat there, we talked, we had a chat, we hashed. You things prayed out. over it. They played over it. Yeah. I cut a check. Don't forget it the was praying. All good. Uh, Don't forget see, the praying. I was thinking of two of the. We prayed on it. Yeah. The funniest. Wait, wait. Thing. Andrew's coming back. No, wait, is he? Okay, Thomas. We hit the breaking news siren. Andrew, and more said it's not on the phone. And more said it's not on the phone. God damn it. You, you suck, Andrew. You suck. What do you got for us, Huge? Did, you did, blew it. Did, but we're going to suddenly Morse. get we're suddenly going to get a massive donation I, I, from I, Legatron 16. No. Way. I think I think uh what needs to happen is we need more donations. <laughs> wow. There and you go. That's and good. Instead, of, and instead of it being for Ralph taking shots, it'll be for this me is... drinking, and then I might divulge more. Wow. This there is, you go. Uh, well, as I drink. A, he's a shrewd businessman here. I like wait a that. second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So so we are 2840 away from Juge drinking more? I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, yeah I'll, wow. I'll, are we 2840? What are you going to do a shot of? I'll do a little bourbon. A little, little <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe two man. fingers. I like um, Good God. That's yeah, that was that boy, was man. interesting. That was interesting. I texted him, he called me, we chatted. Um how bad is he, 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 he told me some things that I'm not at liberty to say. How bad does obviously, he want to be the Saints obviously. punter in 2024? Can obviously he that? wants to come home and just work here and that's, not have to live in a different city while his family right. lives here in New Orleans. Like that's you, that's a no-brainer. You know, uh, I'm not disputing any of that. Right. That's a no-brainer. Uh, so, I'll put it to you this way. Did he enjoy we, Mardi we, Gras? We, we, we should be making efforts to uh, bang that drum. Hmm. We should be. Hmm. All right. And that, that, that's a piece of news we will break if, if and when it happens. Right. Thomas, right. we're calling another audible. Right. I need you to do another graphic. Bring Thomas Morstead home. That's well, no, the, no, no, really. That's the title the, of the no, podcast. No, 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 no. You're bearing the lead. You're bearing the lead. The lead here is uh, F. Andrew Juge's undrafted free agent son, Headley. He sucks getting <laughs> oh, the yeah. out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> East my, 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 my UDFA adopted you, son can go to hell, you know. Yes, yes that's right. what yeah. I wanted yeah. to hear. I, 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 I am willing stamp. to sacrifice. <laughs> there we go. That's what I yeah. wanted to hear. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Eating his own children. That's right. You know, I could guarantee you one thing. Other Saints podcasts ain't having a call from Thomas Morstead interrupt the program. Well, see, like, these people in the chat, they're <laughs> skeptical. That's why, see, you should have gotten them on just to at least prove that it was Thomas. You should just a little hello. Hi, this is Thomas. Uh, and then you could have talked to him. We, we, we got to get the point. Well, well, the first thing he said you, when I answered, I you, the first thing he said when I answered was, Are you this recording? Isn't, this isn't going in print, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... So I was like, oh. I was like, hold on, let me step out of the room here. Yeah. 
So, so that's nice. People, people, you doubt all you want. It's great. Um, no, it's real. I, here, here's the here's the thing with the the topic that we were discussing. I mean, it does say I, I can show you guys. It does say Thomas Morse said on my phone, but I guess I could okay. type that for I could type <laughs> exactly. that for anyone. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, it could my be brother, Kevin calling me, and I could just rename him Thomas Morse. That's right. <laughs> my brother, <laughs> come, my please, brother comes up as Don Corleone. <laughs> Could be calling me, and I just have them listed as Thomas Morstead. Right. <laughs> Clint <laughs> Klein. One, one what's of the other one? What was the last? What's the third one? I think Karnak. I don't know. Um, let me no, see. No, not Karnak. Clint, Clay, and Klein. Wow. That's God. Horrible. That's horrible. I mean, look, just... just You know, I, I will say this regardless, real quick. Regardless and this of is, middle this names. Isn't a, this isn't a Thomas Morstead thing. I will say this. Uh... You know, there's a lot of people on Twitter and and just in general fans that'll be like, "You can't do that. That's tampering." The amount what? of back no, the what? the amount of no, I'm not talking about me. I'm just saying in no. general when like a team talks to a player off the record or whatever. The tamperer. You you can't do that. That's tampering. Like the amount of back channeling that happens in the league is like it's it's just insane. Insane. It's insane. If it's insane. If you don't, yeah, be, right. if you sure, don't think or you don't believe that players are messaging each other yes. all the time, and then that gets relayed kind of to like the head saying, coach or the GM or whatever, right. like or yeah. or, it, it, or text if wars. they're hanging out, or if they're hanging out, it's not even over the phone. They're hanging out on a weekend or something, or uh, sitting down playing some PS2 or whatever the hell they do, <laughs> and they're just like, "Hey, dude, how many more years you got left?" Yeah, maybe we go do this or, or you know, How hey, do you think? Look, if you can get bought out, maybe we, you know, come get a thing here, here, whatever. If you don't think that's happening, I have a good arm to sell you <laughs> can from I buy one the good arm? Ralph, from Ralph, from, can from, I buy the from good one arm? Ralph T. Oh, Welborough. No, I here's the that's thing, fucking Kevin, illegal. if you think, wait, what's Ralph's middle name? Wayne, if you think a hundred million dollar contracts, teams and Wayne uh, teams are signing dudes the first day of free agency to hundred million dollar contracts. Do you think they do that? Like that shit's ready to go. Randy Mueller told us on this yeah, podcast. In advance. They do he it said, in advance. I, I'm not Jeff saying Blake had I'm not signed saying the contract the before, before free agency was in my desk. A sleepover That's and right. somebody's like in between roasting marshmallows or whatever. It's like, hey, you know, you know it would be cool if tomorrow we all were on the same team. It ain't that they're talking about this shit months in advance or even years in advance and just having a chit in a chat. That's oh, it. Dude, at the combine. That's all they're doing. Yeah, at the, com at the combine, contracts get done. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but, but so, so anyway, there, there's a lot of back channeling and uh, a lot of it is – you know, for lack of a better way, I mean, you know, I just I just had this conversation like Rizzi used to coach at Miami. His daughter is like in, in the admitted the sports. Um, I guess the sports office over there. Yeah. So like Lou Headley is a connection for him. And I, I think that has a lot to do with why he was the punter for the Saints and why he finished the season with the Saints, even though he kind of had a not great season. So like. Sometimes like you have your guy and you're positioned to hang on to your guy, even when he's underperforming. So like it, it, it in that sense, it is an incest ancestral league. And I, anyway, so without saying Wait. what I want to say live yeah. on the show, um, yeah, we get it. There's Anything, a lot of back channeling that happens. We get what you're laying down. Um, Kevin, put your head down again. And uh, Thomas zoom in on, uh, on Kevin here. Fuck off. Further, I know it's further, thinning. I know further. it's thinning, you asshole. <laughs> I know it's thinning. Kevin. Not as much uh, as Dave, though. I'm I'm here for you, Kevin. Whenever not you're ready, whenever you want to talk. Here's, not here. Dave or needs here a friend. So much, but right whenever, here. Kevin, whenever you want to talk, I'm here for you, buddy. Dave's but pretty lonely in this club. Over Kevin. A year. I shaved it all off for over a year. I know what's coming. <laughs> I did that so I would know. <laughs> I know what's coming. That's why you're I had to do it at a wrestling show. You're, you're letting so it I get go too long. out of it. <laughs> you're letting it go too long. Letting it grow too long. I piss off. <laughs> listen, I'm trying to just grow it back a little bit, and then I'll just, you know, start working Don't it back. Listen to him, again. Kevin. Typical um, horseshoe. Typical horseshoe pattern. Oh, fuck <laughs> off! You act like I'm Hulk Hogan up here. I'm not. 
before before Man, don't worry, I'm going home soon enough. I got some nice salt and pepper going on up here. Don't let him bully you, son. Oh, that's the next. Ian bullying <laughs> shit. I, I got this. I'm thing. all right. Before you guys, you got you guys are older than me. Let me ask you a question. I I, I had this experience. Did you guys have, have you guys gone gray in other parts of your body yet? Yeah. Have you noticed that yet? <laughs> Jesus. No, no, really? No, stop. Really? Dude, Ralph's oh, no. like five years older than me, too. So. I know that. I know. No, you're like a year older. No, than me. but um, I do. Yeah, have... Gray. I had a gray, a gray. You my, know what, well, my beard, there. my beard is. Got no, no, I'm talking about down there, down there. Wow. No, right. I haven't had that yet. Oh, my Ooh, God. Off the the rails. No, off the rails Shit. in the ditch on Jeez. fire. Doused in gasoline. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. I tell, you, you. I tell you what, it'll be weird. It'll be weird when when oh, it'll be Ralph's real weird when the ass tired. hairs when the ass hairs start going gray. Well, I don't look at those. How are you looking at your ass hairs, Kevin? What is going on? Well, you wipe, don't you? Wait, what? Uh, yeah. I said your wife. <laughs> All right, I, I, yeah, I thought you but said you your wife. I thought you said your I wife. You, that is <laughs> Listen, whatever you and the yeah, missus want to do in the privacy of your own bedroom is no business of mine, my, uh, my friend. I wipe. Yeah, what did he but say? I mean, I I don't know how much hair how much hair is coming off of your asshole. When you wipe your ass. <laughs> what is going on? I'm, in the I'm thorough. I'm thorough when I clean. <laughs> oh, I'm man. thorough. You think we're gonna get a sponsor, Ralph? You think we're gonna get a sponsor? <laughs> we'll get a sponsor. We're gonna get another sponsor. Oh, okay. well, totally yeah, I, I think totally I think you just man. nuked that possibility. No, no, no. Oh, him. I think I think our, our stock just for man. With the whole Thomas More said call and all that, like our stock was getting really high, uh, and like, then you mentioned white pubes, and it just we were like, plummeted. God, I hate like, to hear like, that. that. Like, I uh, hate <laughs> to hear that. It's like it's like Dogecoin. Yeah, it's like <laughs> to the moon, and then six feet under. Yeah. All, or in Twitter. Like, All in Twitter. All in about thirty Twitter. seconds. Yeah, yeah or Twitter. Um, uh, anything Elon's touched. Here's 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 the thing. Oh, trying to ass? get back to try to get the podcast back on track. We were talking about. I think we're right on track. See, that's we, the problem. We're, we're, is, this I think is like we, peak. I think we have different definitions of tracks. <laughs> that's right. We're we're like peak. This is like yeah. Is where like, do those tracks lead? <laughs> this is like peak June podcast right to, now. To to gray puke down. <laughs> Great so, asshole. Right, if, if, if we hit the net donation goal, I will share one thing. Well, here's I know. How are people not donating? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. What's wrong so, with you people? We we will profit. If you're losers us. enough to be watching us right now on a Tuesday you're evening at 8 48, you have to find sad. this funny. That's this on has you. To be funny to yeah. you. Andrew's yeah. dad says on brand. He know he knows. I'm going um, to get another drink. So we, we need th- Ralph to. T- we need. I mean, if forget the Thomas Morstead stuff, we need Ralph to drink this Montedula trash. Oh, it's I've drunk drink it before. It's disgusting. Ugh. Um, we were talking about the funniest thing the Saints could do this off season, Andrew. While you, right, were, I'm going. Uh, okay. While you're talking to Morstead, so I'm going to give mine. And Kevin, this involves you because I was I was thinking it would would be funny if the Saints would like create forty million of cap space and like spend a bunch of money because it would give the cap nerds an aneurysm, and that would be really funny. But I think the funniest scenario for the Saints and for our podcast is they trade down from pick fourteen. And we have a breaking news podcast where we are congratulating you like you got married, had a child, got a promotion, and we're super excited because the Saints finally traded down. Right. And then they take all the picks they got for trading down and they use them to trade back up like a draft day, like Kevin Costner in draft day. Uh, that's my uh, that's my dream, and that, that, that would look, be look, the funniest you, scenario. Well, you guys would have to be conducting wellness checks on me, okay? <laughs> About every hour, <laughs> if that happens, especially if we record a show where, where where I'm I'm you know like like I'm being paraded down the canyon of heroes, like I landed on the moon or something, and everybody's yeah. throwing the confetti and everything, and then 20 minutes after we go off the air, it's like. And the Saints have traded all five of their picks that they accumulated <laughs> to move higher than 14 into this, the This top feels five. like the 1980s voice. 
It does. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's that, that's Harry right. Carey. It sounds like Harry Carey. Oh, that's yeah. the Simpsons. Uh, oh, that's the Simpsons baseball announcer voice. That's right. And here come the pretzels, the isotopes. <laughs> that's Phil Hartman, huh? In yeah. real life, that's right. Uh, I don't know. I don't oh. know. I'd have to check that. My, could R be R Hank Zary. Could be so, Hank Zary. One more thing before we get to a donation <laughs> update is. I want to say this, and I we I want to talk about this because this I I I admit that I am addicted to X slash Twitter, whatever you want to call it, Ecstasy? and I and I oh, fight with Twitter. people too much. But they had somebody on Twitter today that was like, Taysom Hill, his cap number is fifteen million dollars or whatever. That's a little excessive for a fullback. And I gotta say, how like dare a, he? I of mean, come all on, the, that's ridiculous. How oh, dare that you diminish him to a if you want to be Of all that's, the things you want to knock the same. How many on. times has that guy been in the end zone in the last five years? You're going to call him a, a fullback? Who, who said this? What the who hell that? is that? Uh, it was like a writer for like PFF or something. Are we sure it was Unbelievable. a writer? Are we sure? I don't know. Yeah, this We're is sure a legit, the guy that this is a le dead spin. It's a person who writes for dead spin. I Wait, think. dead spin is still around or not? Dead spin, the defector. The defector. <laughs> oh, I was Wait, say. Are we, okay. the defector? Ah, uh, come on. I like the defector. Why are they turning out trash like that? What, what is the, the point? Defector? Is like when, the, when dead spin? When dead spin died, the defector. Yeah. Good people from dead spin formed uh, their own collective called okay. the defector. Okay. Got but it. my thing is, and then Deadspin still functions as a husk. I, this is it, the first time I've ever heard of Defector. Is this? It's fun. It's is, fun. Is, it can't be that popular, right? It is. It is. It is. Really? It's a subscription. Yeah, it's based. a subscription. It's a subscription oh. service. They make well, enough money to stay in business. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Um. So do so, we. That doesn't. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, we but they're actually churning out written content regularly. We churn out. We're churning out audio content regularly. What's yeah, right? Day? But what it's. Have we? They're $7 doing a, lot. a month, the best seven dollars you can spend. Volume. Um, so here's my here's my. You're question. really diminishing Ralph and Andrew's work, Kevin. Here's uh, my oh, here's my off. question. I contribute now. to this, and so do you. <laughs> here's my question, though. This is what frustrates me about the Taysom Hill discussion, which a lot of people were having. It kind of took off. Is of all the things to knock the Saints on, salary cap wise. Why are you going to knock the dude who averages six touchdowns a year for five years? Like, of all the salary cap stuff, like, Taysom yeah. Hill is the last. Kevin, he yeah. might be arguably their best offensive weapon they have. Right. And um, people. Take a gander here. You know what? I would be hard pressed to disagree with you. <laughs> I would be hard because I'm looking at it's either Olave. Wait, what? No, Olave's yeah. great too. No, like no, 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 no. He's. I'm saying best offensive weapon on the team. Uh, so let's. Well, I mean, yeah, Olave is up there. <clears throat> I mean, imagine the Saints run game yeah. without. Imagine the Taysom. run game without Taysom Hill. Right. So Taysom Hill got four hundred, uh, just over four hundred yards rushing and four rushing touchdowns. The problem is the receiving. He dialed it back this year. He had just under three hundred. Receiving yards and two uh, receiving touchdowns. Let me see if he had any. How much is Mike Thomas getting paid? A lot. A lot. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. A I'm lot. done here. I'm done with this guy. <laughs> Identical. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I still might. I might say Olave is the MVP on this team still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die on the Taysom Hill's the best offensive weapon. Hill, but he's a he. But he is valuable. He is oh, valuable. He is valuable <laughs> on this team. And I don't know if any other team, save for the Broncos, because of Sean Payton, would utilize Taysom Hill right. as well as we have. And why they? Why do we? Why do we have to get, why do people, why are people so obsessed with cap numbers? Like, who gives a damn about a, a person that's 4% of the Saints cap? Like, what does it matter? Like, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 the cap, I need to, I need to stop. The cap, the cap nerds are driving me crazy. 
Oh, well, did I did I even get to share what my uh, luxury item was? Yeah, because I did. I mean, as, as as dumb as the idea was, I did have <laughs> a choice. Go ahead. Yeah. I was told by Ralph to send something to Thomas. So I was like, here's yeah. my luxury item, even though this is stupid. I'll play along. My luxury item was that I, I, I asked that for one day and one day only for 24 hours. Instead of Twitter mocking the Saints for negative cap space, <laughs> that it would become a complete 180. In other words, the media, the fans, they would all be like, this team isn't in the red. They haven't like spent all their money and, and like they're it's, not, they're not going to punt it to next year. Like they have $80 million in cap space. What the hell is wrong with them? That's that's what it should be. Yeah. That's like it just fun. completely flips and like the saints just are like the cream of the crop for like having negative 90 million in cap space and every other team that's on the other end of the spectrum is ridiculed. I, like I just that. want that for 24 hours, 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, that's a, that's a good one. I that's don't know my luxury it. item <laughs> spelled with spelled with a no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate you. <laughs> Luxor. Um, it's a luxury item. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said I, I, it's it's very fitting that Ralph, a degenerate gambler, would think that luxury is spelt like Luxor, uh, a major casino chain uh, Guilty. and hotel. Totally Guilty. on brand. <laughs> yeah. Guilty. Or that his phone, that his phone maybe, auto-corrects to that. Maybe if more people would become patrons and donate to the show, I could spell better. Um, I remember, can't believe, got, I can't, I can't believe this is, this is close to becoming the first show where you have not drinking in maybe over a year. I know. Uh, this you is on you what? patrons had it, had it had to have a drink in like over okay. a year. Like this is on you patrons. This is uh, the blood's going to be on we? your, I'm, the blood's going to be on your hands. Not mine. How, how much money? 20, I don't know, but you, 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 11 10. bucks, 23, 40. No, oh. but uh, and but you That's can't. That's nothing. Donate. You guys can do this. Uh, yeah, but you can't donate, Andrew, because you said you were going to spill tea no. about Thomas Morstead. So, so I'm not. Remember, I'm not donating. Remember, you can use your <laughs> am, you know, One way to donate is you. You can use your Amazon Prime membership to support Saints Happy Hour, and it doesn't cost you a dime. Click on the link at the podcast description with instructions from Thomas. If you're in the chat, you can. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe using Amazon Prime. Boom! It doesn't cost you anything. And it goes to the donation goal. Uh, Thomas, before we get to trivia, you've given us a donation goal. We're about, how many? How many? How far are we away? Less than twenty-five buckaroos. Also, thanks to Butteridge for five bucks. Donation. That's a good segue, Thomas. Because thanks to Butteridge, because you know it's the it's not the it's not the official off season until the world famous Butteridge trivia is back. So we got it. Tri trivia is back. Butterich gave you a question. Thomas, did he start us off oh, easy? Oh, here we go. No. Did he oh, here we go. <laughs> he did by the, not. By the way, I'm, 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 counting on, uh, I'm counting on Andrew's dad maybe to get us to the donation goal. Uh, yeah. I, if he can figure out how to do it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. the, the new way. I don't know because I know we have a new way. Yeah, we are at 23 donation uh, streak when we reach the donation goal. 23. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, speaking of... Oh, who that golfer has supported the show? Ten, ten buckaroos extending oh, his MVP push. lead. Less than 15 bucks away. Thanks, who that golfer. Okay. All right. All right. The question is, uh, if, you, if you get that one, it's going to be fucking sick, I think. What? Okay, oh, I so bet one of these guys knows this. Yeah, for sure. Read the question, Thomas. This is... maybe, maybe Kevin knows that. Okay, so the question oh. is, who started the brawl in the... 1967 game against the Giants, which became the Touchdown Club. All right, so I mean, my, my my mind immediately goes to Danny Abramowitz. Yes. I'm, I'm not even. I I'm not even. There's Dude, no point me even answering be, or talking. Could it be Gary Quazzo, Billy Kilmer? But I'm gonna go with a guy who I know. Drank a ton and hung out a ton on Bourbon Street and like loved being a saint in the first year. He's a Hall of Famer, but he, he's a Hall of Famer because of what he did with the Bears. Doug Atkins is my answer for this, I think. I don't think it's anybody. I, I, I don't think it's going to be anybody of note. I literally think that whatever name shows up, 
we're all gonna be like, I've never heard of this guy. I've never heard of this guy. Ralph's gonna be like, oh yeah, he played like three games and had like, you know, one tackle and then did this and then fucked off to Montana State <laughs> or whatever. And and that's and that's it. Like it's gonna be somebody we we have no cons we have no clue about. I love Lamp. I love Lamp. You got find anybody anybody got a final answer? I want to see who was on the 1967 team. Y'all would have heard out of him, out Butter says. So Thomas, give us the reveal answer. it. Reveal Let's it. Go. I doubt it. All right. Let's see what the real answer is. Come on, Danny Abramowitz. Come on. Steve oh, Stonebreaker, yeah. Stone of course. Oh, the snake guy. Of course. Steve Stonebreaker. Jason the Champagne in the chat. Damn. With the correct yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. I saw Jason answer that. I was going to take it and pass it off as my own. You sure. uh, and annoy the hell out of you. No, no, I wouldn't. Dave, you I mean, well, well done, Jason. I, what a yeah. great answer. That is. A, wow. That is. Crazy. That is. I, I got. I, I got to be honest. I saw someone sent to me uh, a picture of Abramowitz in in a fight, like a shoving match with a Falcons player in 1967. Yeah. And so my mind immediately went to Abramowitz because I had just seen that clip. But Stonebreaker was such an obvious call. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time. 67 was, is a long yeah. time. We, we still yeah. need to we still need to do maybe if we, we could set a goal where if we get to 350 patrons, we will watch the movie. We will live stream the movie number one with Charlton Heston. Mm. And we will all watch it together. I've never seen it. It's yeah, let's not do that. It's as horrible as you can imagine. <laughs> Let's, you can let's, watch let's, it on Pluto. You can watch it on Pluto. No, what right. it could be like. Um, what's the what's that show with the robots and stuff? Mission that Science the Theater Three. Yeah, I mean, look yeah, yeah. when I when I'm my fourth liquor drink in, and I think it's a bad idea. We should not do that. Right. Hey. <laughs> the off season is long. We got months before True. real football. We only got three weeks yeah. to free. Al, Al De Mourinho talking about Kyle Turley. Uh, he's another guy that did an interview on this podcast once. Did By the way, he did. I don't remember. Uh, well, maybe that was Saints Nation. That was maybe before. <laughs> that was maybe before. It all blurs together. Um, I have his phone number in, in my uh, phone as well, actually. Thomas, should we text uh, Kyle Turley? Should we go we there should. next? We should. Thomas, hit the uh, Wait, hit Kyle the take Turley's it to the top, so I can number? give the people finger guns. I don't know if it's his number anymore, but yeah, no. uh, but that was probably a decade ago. Do I yeah. have any? Only I probably one have, way to I find probably... out, man. Let's see who I have in my phone. I'll text him right now. Like, is it yeah. Kyle? I probably is have like random number? from my Canal Street Chronicles days. I probably have like Al Woods's phone number in my. Wow, there, there you go. <laughs> hey, is he still in the league? I think he, he might is. be. He is. Mm -hmm. Couldn't play a down for the Saints, but ended up playing a decade in the NFL. If you are, it. Kyle, is this still your number? I just sent that. If you are a new listener because you saw all the Thomas Morstead news that we hinted that we might break but ended up not doing, and you're wondering why we were playing this incredible 80s hit, take it to the top, that's Saints Hall of Famer Morton Anderson singing. Uh, and take it to the top. It's amazing. And we do it to intro the mailbag. Remember, kids, send us your mailbag questions. If we don't use them on the live stream, we'll use them in the mailbag that me and Dave do right after the show. Me and, and Kevin Dave may Kevin. answer them on a Friday show. So send us all your questions. We'll get to them. We use all the content we can. Uh, we love your questions. The crazier, the better. Thomas, what you got? Before that, thanks to your boy, Alan, for subscribing for free with Amazon Prime with donation message. Your Best boy. show ever. Ten, less than 10 bucks from uh, Andrew breaking the news. <laughs> All right, first question. <laughs> first question from Bad Rich. He asks... Kevin loved that question, by the way, in the Discord chat. Uh, the Chiefs have a play that they use to score the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl called Corn Dog. If you design a play, what would you name it? And before you answer, I have to do one more thing, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. 
The street is on. Who's coming? Who Just Godfather. in time. Thank you, Huda. Let's go, let's go. And let's go, let's go. Back and by the, by the way, quick note. If you are a patron and you haven't received your booze bundle or you need swag from us that you uh, should be getting, DM me in Discord. Apparently, the Houston, his DM. Yeah, the Houston post office is a disaster. I've been getting boxes back. It's a nightmare. But we want to make sure you get your swag. DM me. I'll make sure you get it. So um, my brother, my brother called me last week while I was away on vacation for Mardi Gras to tell me that he just got my Christmas card and he wanted to make sure <laughs> he he wanted to know whether I had like just sent it or whether it was an actual postal uh, service issue and it was uh, 100% a postal service issue. I'm yeah. I'm gonna have I'm to spend like seventy five dollars. To get Hatchet John that knife because I sent it off and they sent it back to me and I'm petrified that it's gonna get, it's gonna get lost in the mail. No, yes, um, you shouldn't, in, or insure it at least so we can yeah. maybe get the money and give it to him or whatever. Yeah, uh, I actually I shipped a uh, when my grandmother passed away in December and I went back to New York and I had she had a, an old unopened bottle of Shivers Regal from like 1985. Oh, uh, no, it should I be still good. Yeah, no, it's the, and I wanted to ship it back to myself, and uh, it's lost. They freaking lost it, and uh, I didn't insure it. Not that, not that the bottle is worth anything, but I paid a hundred. It cost one hundred and eighteen dollars at a UPS store uh, to ship this bottle, which blows my mind. If I had shipped it myself from my store, it would have cost nine dollars. I don't understand why it cost one hundred and eighteen dollars. Uh, yeah, the, the, but the bottom line is the post office is falling apart. That's well, this was line. UPS too. The bottom line is everybody makes mistakes, but the post office makes more mistakes. That's yeah. my, that's that's. All right. My so what am I? Line. What am I going to drink? Am I drinking the Long Island iced tea? No. Drinking uh, what? I don't know. Wait, wait. Uh, the, what's the, the proof the, on the, the LI? Yes. See, what's the, the drop the shot Long is the the drop shot we is should disgusting. Let Huda go for choose, guys. Huda go for no, but but but, but we got to educate him. We, we got to educate educate Huda yeah. go for the drop yeah. shot is disgusting. But it's only fifteen percent alcohol by volume. That's, but it is oh, it's disgusting. What's, what's the Long Island iced tea? And the Long 90, Island iced tea might be e equally as disgusting. Ninety nine. That's not, okay. That's I also a think new, that's, new drink, by the way. The, the it's Long probably not going to taste that good. Alcohol, also, I don't think a Long Island. Ugh, I don't like Long Island. I've iced never tea. had. Oh, who he says Long Island. Yes, good. I've that's never. I've never had a Long Island iced tea like a legit one made or like a pre-made shot you just pour everything from the bar into a cup and you're done oh it doesn't it, what does it smell like it it doesn't smell like iced tea no it smells like um kind of smells okay it smells like hawaiian punch by the way the best iced tea to come from long island is snapple they used to have their headquarters right. on long island snapple All right, let's go goat. raspberry let's go. iced tea goat mango madness <laughs> oh wow he did yeah. not like that i think this is the way to go i think this is worth the way every to go. penny guys worth every yeah, penny no, and now and see the good thing too is normally normally he goes with the gross wormwood thing first so yeah now we now we can if we get another now we we got him down we can hit him with the wormwood yeah, while he's yeah. down mm, we I'm can with really you. f him up i think yeah. this i think so, he's this, like this, the wounded animal it is yeah. this yeah. is this is the thing. The, the patrons send me these, and we always appreciate it. Send them, I'll drink them. I think this Long you, Island iced tea. You, I'm going to make that a shirt. It, you send them, I'll drink them. It, ta it tasted. <laughs> I, that's right. You should put that on the right thing next, next week. Yeah, put what that on there. Send, fucking write that on there. You that's send them, nine. I'll drink them. You know, I think that was wow. like old or stale or something, that Long Island. That's it was what? nasty. Like stale, like it, like it, like the, 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 the aftertaste, it tasted like it was stale or something. Like it I peaked feel like, in 1950, just like right, Long so Island. what's the number? I don't know. Get me, since we're running out of time, if you get, get 50 more bucks, I'll drink. No, I, I'm talking the about number, the, the puke meter. <laughs> nine, <it>? nine. <laughs> no halves? Come on. Nine. No. That's how bad it is. It was nine. level. Long just... Island. You, Dave, you weren't kidding in the pregame. You, you, it, long Island iced tea is disgusting. It's it's the grossest. I I I don't understand why it was hey, ever Sally, made. I, I don't need know who made it. I don't know why it's been equated to Long Island. Uh, 
you know, we have a lot of much better things. Pizza, bagels. Right. For those of you that are left, sandwiches. we're 50 bucks away from Ralph drinking some more disgusting shit. So please consider. Yeah. Well, how much? They uh, but but a, but a deal's a deal. So I will tell you this. Typically, when a free agent is about to hit the market in March, they have the, the team that is about to lose them has leverage in the sense that they are under a deal before the league year ends, which mm-hmm. is typically like the day before free agency. And so most guys that are about to leave, their team has the opportunity the team that holds their contract right right up until it expires, has the leverage in the sense that they can negotiate with that player until the new league year starts and mm-hmm. free agency hits, at which point it opens it up and anyone can can negotiate with them. Yes. Uh, the way I, Thomas I mean, structured his so deal with Yeah. The way <laughs> Thomas structured his deal with the New York Jets, he cannot negotiate with them currently. So his deal is expired. He also can't sign with the he can't entertain new deals into the new new league year. So he has to wait till free agency and then he can negotiate with anyone. But the Jets are not in a position currently to offer him an extension. Uh, so it's not one of those things where he could sign with them. Like he, he is basically like the free agency hits and he can sign with anyone. So it's a unique situation that he's in, which is different from most veterans that are exiting a team and entering free agency. Kevin, that would be an awesome Thing, like the same, like the opening of free agency, like five minutes in, the Saints announced they bring back Morstead. Like it would be amazing. And they've refigured and they've uh, reconfigured other contracts to suddenly make a lot of room. Yeah, and clear a lot so of cap space. I would. I've love set. That. I, I've set the stage. I could. I could tell you more. Fifty bucks away, and I'll reveal <laughs> the rest. That's right. <laughs> Payola. <laughs> Yeah. Forty dollars and forty cents. No. Let me tell you, I had uh, I had three fingers of this, and uh, I'm are, feeling are, a little Ralphie right now. Okay, are, are you are, are you feeling a little further from the uncle Where, or here's closer? My, here's I'm my question. Closer to the uncle, I'm feeling a little Ralphie right now. Dave, I gotta say, <laughs> I you're our candy aficionado. <laughs> you're our candy aficionado. I gotta say. Nerds clusters might be the greatest candy invented in the last twenty years. You like those? And eh, they're I mean, I've had them. They're okay. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're awful. Oh, don't they're listen. We need, you know what we need to do? Fuck. In off season, we need to have Dave lead us in ranking a bunch of candies like they do, where th- where we classify them as like S tier, A tier. B, C, and D, and I think F tier. Like, I, I, it, we need to have Dave <laughs> well, lead the way. I mean, you, have, you have to have, like, a chocolate bracket. I, I get a lot of crap from my wife because, you know, she, like, she doesn't really consider gushers and gummy worms and that kind of crap, like, as real candy. You know, she likes chocolate and that kind of stuff. And So I think you, I think you have to have, like, a chocolate bracket, a gummy bracket, no, um, it's just, it's maybe, just a, it's, maybe, like, a sour it's, bracket. It's tears. Should, you just yeah. rank should we, it. Should we have a bracket on shots that Ralph has taken? <laughs> well, we have the channel in the Discord. Another reason to become a patron. Thomas has created a channel in the Discord. Every shot that I've ever done on the show, he posts the video of it. And people really like it, I'm just saying. Um, before we get bef- quick round the horn, just a quick one-word answer before we get to the actual questions. If the Saints bring Thomas Morstead back, and I'll start with you, Dave, will people be more excited about Morstead yeah. coming back than Jimmy Graham? Um, yes. Mm. Kevin? Mm. I will say no. Ooh. I, I think, I, I mean, if we're talking the masses, I think I agree with Kevin. Because Jimmy I, Graham wasn't on the Super Bowl team. Jimmy Graham is a, a red zone guy. He, he, he scores touchdowns. That's sexier. Um, however, I, I feel like Morstead is 
in his prime. I, even though he's in his late thirties, he's a top five NFL punter currently. So when I look at how big of a difference the two make on the field, I feel like the saints have like a bottom five punter in the league. And you have a guy that wants to come back and he's a top five punter in the league. So I, I don't, I don't know how long he can sustain it. I mean, I think Thomas would tell you, I mean, we know this, like the older you get, like you're good until you're injured and then the wheels come off. And once you're in your forties, like I know this is a 43 year old, like I, I'm doing everything I can to try to stay in, in fighting shape. Oh, and it's just deception. Oh, wow. Matt Ryan. <laughs> can Ralph open any drinks with his weak hand? Great question. Probably not. That's a good question. Your Probably dad not. interrupting you, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> 28 so, to 3. Thank you, Mr. So, George, for interrupting so, your son. So, about you know, Jimmy Graham away. is more sexy. You know, him scoring a 20. touchdown is more exciting. I think a punter hitting a punt, you know, 52 yards where there's a fair catch is never, that's never an exciting play. So, but I think it's more impactful on wins. So I, I think that's kind of the lost thing in all this is that, yeah, like I, I think bringing Morstead back, especially at the level he's punting at now, which is as good as any time in his career. I mean, you just look at the numbers. Like, look, look at what he did with the Jets. He was unbelievable this past well, year. Well, I just have to say, if he comes back, the uh, St. Patrick's Day Irish Channel parade yeah. will, be, will be fire. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 all I got to say about this, we're going to have to cut these questions. You eliminate one or two questions uh, and save them for uh, the mailbag. What? We yeah. are not eliminating um, anything, Dave. You're not the well, boss. Well, come on. Yeah. This, is, this is ridiculous. But this is the one thing I want to say about Morstead. Uh, cut that bitch we, <laughs> What did we do? We, we, traded, <laughs> we, we traded up to get him, didn't we? We did. Right? Shocker. And then in, yeah. And then in his rookie season, he pulls off ambush and we win the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. As far as punters go, you would be hard pressed to find, you know, a more badass. Deception! Uh, oh, jeez. Sorry, Matt never mind. Ryan. Forget it. Just straight <laughs> <up. laughs> I, yeah. I, I love the donations, but sometimes I fucking hate getting interrupted. That's my boy, your boy, Alan. Thank you, Fuck your boy, you, Alan. I love you. Fuck you, Dave. You. And yeah. with that exactly. being said, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. I was going to say something nice about you, Thomas Moore said, but sorry, your boy Alan gave me money. Uh, we'll talk no, later, Thomas. Call I can't me. Even Call get me, this. Thomas. That's because you wanted this. to cut, cut the questions, man. I can't That's even get, get this open with my good hand. Oh, man. This, this. Freaking... Who, who donated? Was that your boy Alan that donated? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. your boy you, Alan. Alan, DM me. I'll tell you everything. The shot <laughs> met on Dude. drop mark. Drop shot, black magic. Oh, I, this is so gross. This is so gross. Get the puke bucket. It's so gross. It smells like, it, you know, when you were a kid and you, you ever had to be like when you were in grammar school and you had to like to, you had to be the guy that like clean the, the, clean the blackboard mm -hmm. and like clean the erasers after. Mm -hmm. Like that's what mm -hmm. this smells like. Freaking disgusting. Oh, anyway. Thomas Moore said is he's not just your average punter. He's got a long he's got a long history with the Saints and he's a pretty and, badass and, and, dude. And he's and he's freaking awesome now. That's a thing. That. Like when we signed Jimmy Graham, he was like a shadow of his former self, which was fine. Like I, I wasn't complaining. Mm. I was like, yeah, bring him in. Like him scoring a touchdown would be nostalgic. I'll love it. It'll be fun. But like Jimmy Graham at his peak was like a top two tight end in and the here, league. And here's now the he's not even a top two tight end on the Saints. Well, here's the thing with Thomas. You know, Morissette. here's the and thing with Mor Thomas. Morissette is, is like a, as good as ever right now. Well, here's the thing with Morissette that I'll I'll say before I do the shot. We did an interview with Morissette on this podcast, and the thing that he was most proud of was not ambush. It was a punt in the NFC Championship game. Where the Saints were backed up in the fourth mm. quarter, Andrew, remember that? And he was like, 
Yeah. I boom that son of a bitch. <laughs> and I kind of, like, he didn't say it, but we did. He saved the Saints' ass because he was punting from the end zone and he hit a bomb. And, you know, it, the NFC Championship, you pull like one string out. There's like a thousand things. You pull one of them out, it all goes wrong. But anyway, um, Kevin, I'm going to mail this to you. I oh, want you God. doing these with me. Look at Kevin. Is, t- t- whoa, t- Kevin. T- straight from the up. bottle. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Jesus. What is going on? No, do it again. Now you're, now you got to yeah, do, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. They paid. <laughs> the Patriots have Here paid. This is, yeah. Boy, this is. You're Wait getting, a minute. This is Hall of Fame. Shouldn't I ask for $5? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You Wait, should. Meanwhile, Ra- meanwhile, Ralph was. They already paid. They already paid. They paid for both. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph go. didn't want to get up. Now go back. Like go, now go back to now focus on Ralph. Yeah. Oh. Well, I need you to be a little well, bit more. Did you take off the camera? Yeah, Ralph yeah. took that shot off camera. What yeah, the I hell, know, Ralph? <laughs> Sorry. This is a disaster. This show is a disaster. Well, I tell you what, Ralph really looking Ralph. like WC Fields here. Thomas, you Dead really got to be more like Spielberg here. You got to be paying it to Oliver Stone. Something. Black you magic. I was focused on Kevin, man. I was looking the black at magic is no. bad. I apologize that oh Thomas God. didn't get it. It is so bad. And beer was a bad choice. Like beer, like trying to chase it with beer made it worse. And oh, that blows my mind that you think chasing it with beer is better than chasing well, it with strawberry whiskey. Well, if you can tell the whiskey. second drink. The strawberry whiskey but is you think delicious, worse than- Dave. They're going to be back oh, during yeah. the football season, and it's amazing. But the chasing it with beer is a bad choice. So what are we at? Nine? Another niner? The nine. And I think There's Monadula, so many nines. I think Monadula is like, it's, he's doing the Number long nine. play. He's doing the, playing Number the long nine. game. He's trying to poison Number me. nine? Number nine. Oh. All right. First question. First question. <laughs> We've been trying to get to this question. You, you, you show guys? <laughs> um, no, I think we should just do a separate show of questions. We should. We will. <laughs> just... It's called oh the mailbag. We have so many questions. Okay, uh, first question, again, from Budridge. The Chiefs have a play that they used to score the, the game-winning <laughs> touchdown Wait, we, <laughs> in the Super Bowl. We, we, no, we didn't! didn't. <laughs> You we didn't, didn't answer. answer. It, we didn't. We didn't answer. It. You we didn't because we read the donation. Go. I read it and we did. All right. You didn't answer. I'm calling. I'm calling my play. Roll wave. Oh man. No, actually, I take that back. I'm calling my play. Hullabaloo. There you go. Go Tigers. That's my answer. Mm. See, my. God. I think. Jesus Christ. Can we? If play? if I had I a play, like I'm calling play. my play the Bushy Juji. I think. <laughs> I think we got to call my play either the One Arm Delight. Or the crippled delight, the crip, the the. I, I think I think Ralph calls this play the luxury. No, <laughs> spelled with M- misspelled, of course. Lux, it's it, it, the, the puke, luxu- the luxury. Actually, that's not true. The uh, okay. In all reality, actually, I take that back. <laughs> if I was really, whole play. <laughs> if I was really naming a play, if I ever had a chance to name a play, uh, I, it would be called the annexation of Puerto Rico. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> good man. Hey, what was that Italian word I kept screwing up? Oh, agita. <laughs> yeah, agita. agita. Yeah. This is agita. happening. Lou bump. Agita. Um, I would probably call mine uh, greeting starfighter. That would be <laughs> there it. you go. What? Wow, <laughs> Thomas that felt what's... very video game. It did. What's next, Thomas? Yes, champagne toast from Jason Champagne. That's what he called his play. That's good. Opus. Good yeah. question. Stan, ha- that's Italian that's the real winner. Yeah, Italian time. I would call mine Stone Temple Pirates. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Next question from Ali Mourinho. Of all the sound bites on the soundboard, which would be the worst and best one to mistakenly play at a funeral? I am pretty sure uh, if somebody played that's, this, this is, is happening loop up. At a funeral, uh, <laughs> that, that would be, be the problem. best, right? No, I, be I know, I know which one, guys. Oh, Ralph's pants just got tighter. You're, you're <laughs> arguing that would be the best, right? I'm just. I don't sure. know. I don't know which way. I'm not sure which way it would go. I mean, this would be pretty bad. It makes me almost want to vomit. <laughs> oh, or or this. I don't take into account shit. All I take into account is they kicked our ass today. That's what well, I take it, into account. As soon as you announce that someone died, I feel like if you follow it up with this. Thank you.
<laughs> That's the win, yeah. Yeah. We're what doing about, a bracket. Oh, what about, oh no, grandma's dead. We're doing a bracket. We're doing a soundbite bracket. I feel wow. like my wife would be really fuck? bad. Yeah. That's a great you know. question. The 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 uh, the soundbite bracket that we're going to do this summer is going to be our most navel gazing thing we've ever done on this podcast. It's going to be oh amazing. yeah, I, I got wow. a good one. Navel gazing. What, a, a, what, a, one. what a great suck on this. Bitch. Another another term that Ralph can pronounce that <laughs> Chipotle Trumps Trumps Chipotle and luxury. <laughs> just, <laughs> can't do it. Just I still what can't the do it. fuck is going on? Chipotle. I like the guy. They have a draft pick that he has a really hard name, and he's just like, just call me Johnny. And I was like, no, wait a minute, my hold guy. On. From hold Illinois, on. he's a defensive tackle. It's the guy from Illinois. Yeah, hold on. He's this like, is, just call is, me Johnny. This is, this is a serious question because you are married to a Mexican woman. She speaks Spanish, right? She's fluent. She does. Spanish. Fluent. You've that's, eaten that's at usually a Chipotle. how it you... works in Mexico, Dave. Yeah. <sighs> Have you eaten at a at a Chipotle before together? Uh, no, but I've picked up Chipotle for us. So Holy has she shit. never? Heard he you? still can't do it. He still can't fucking do it. No, but my but my question is is like she's heard you say this as a Mexican. Like, does she not? Does that not hurt her? It hurts my ears. So I would have it, to it think hurts yeah, it ears. hurts her ears. It, she does. Here, here's the thing. I, I she's not listen to me, Dave. No, no, no. Let, let Ralph people. answer for fuck's sake. Let him answer. Yeah, no, I want to. She doesn't like, listen like, to me. She like, does. No, but like, Ralph, has she never? Has this not ever come up? Has she? It has heard not. You I'll ask her after the show. Get her wow. on here right now. I, she's heard you yeah, say this get her word and never said anything. Sally, we need assistance. This is crazy to me. This is Ellie. We need a run in. Hey, Sally, I need say, assistance. Kevin? Ralph, you need to get Sally on the show. Seriously. <laughs> Ralph, go get your wife. He's muting her. He's <laughs> muting it. That's how serious it is. Because he doesn't want us to hear him like call her over. That's somehow funny. I don't know why. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, it's, 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 the people don't want. To, I'm gonna go get. I'll go get her. Yeah. So, so he just waved her over. You saw that, Kevin? Right? He's yeah. like, yeah. yeah he was here, doing here, this, and, and she, she wasn't. You, you kind of get the vibe it. on the other side of the camera. She's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not going <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm not going on your stupid podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You don't wave at me like that. I'm not going on there with those fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. Hold this on. Is as close as she comes. I do the she says, uh -huh. so people, I say Chipotle, and that's apparently wrong. That's not how you say. Apparently. Right apparently. Apparently. <laughs> you want to know, why have you never corrected me? Because you're white. <laughs> no, no. I do not accept that. <laughs> I, do, I do not accept that. <laughs> I am white. I, I do not accept I, that. Tomas, check the timestamp on that, please. <laughs> All right, hey, thank Tomas, you. Tomas, check the timestamp on this. That. Are we getting canceled? Are we getting? No, canceled? no, no, no. She said it. It's fine. She said it. It's fine. Because you're All right. white. Oh, and by the way, Tomas, check the timestamp. That is uh, that's the number one seed. Is your wife? <laughs> <laughs> You know, every now and then I'm like, Ooh. I get in the off season. I'm like, man, um, this show. I don't know if this one's gonna be a, this one's gonna be fun or this one's gonna be a winner. And then we do the show, and I'm like, this is amazing. This is why I love doing this show every week. This is one of those episodes. <laughs> put it in the yeah. Put it in the time capsule. You know, I I I didn't like the whole luxury requests. I thought it was gonna be bleak, and then you said right. Chipotle. Yeah. No, Ch Ch Chipotle. 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 See, Chipotle. I can't even say it wrong. Like I have, I have trouble saying it. The and way then, you do and it then my wife dropped because you're white. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So what's next, Thomas? What are we? Are we done? Ma here? Mandy, thanks for showing up. Jeez, late. <laughs> very, very late. Uh, next question uh, from who that? Is Ralph essentially running an OnlyFans account for people who get off on watching alcohol poisoning? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Finally. No, next question. <laughs> next question. Yeah, that was fast. Fast. Yes. Next question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we gotta. 
All right, final question <laughs> the from Saints Rabbit, the MVP, the reigning, defending, undisputed MVP, Saints mm. Rabbit. Since Jameis might not be a Saint next season, what over-the-hill backup QB, let's say over 35, would you like to see the Saints have a resurgence with, like, Joe Flacco, assuming... Car gets injured. Oh my god! I've got an answer already. Uh, so sure, I researched. No. I, I researched this. He I will. Guess you be can't, I guess you can't say Teddy Bridgewater because he's retiring. That's right. I was gonna say Chase. Chase Daniel. He no, will be thirty-five when the season starts. So Andrew Luck, famous Tyrod Taylor. Oh, that's a good Ooh. one. Mm. I've always Chase liked. Daniel? I've Chase always Daniel's liked Tyrod. Me? I, I really Daniel, like that uh, answer. I really like, like that answer. I, I've always thought Tyrod's like a. I mean, he's never been like a star, but he's been okay. Under, he he's underrated. Yeah, he's capable. I no, I like that answer. I really yeah. yeah. Do. Thank you, Is Chase Brian Daniel. Hoyer, is thirty-seven. 35? He's thirty-seven he's years old. Yeah. Brian Hoyer. Uh, that, I mean, give it. me Tyrod as a backup any day over like you know. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Oh my God! What about Carson? David Carr? Yeah, I did say Carson. You know how Sorry, I feel Carson. about you know how I feel about gingers. Keep Carson Wentz off my team. <laughs> no, is David Carr? What about David Carr? Wait, Carson Wentz is not a ginger. He is. A ginger. Are you thinking of Carson? Yeah. Wait, Carson, Carson Wentz is, is absolutely a ginger. He's Carson not like Wentz bright ginger, but he's he's yeah, brown. He's he the brown like Prince, Prince Harry. Harry. Come on, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah, he Prince is Harry a is exactly freaking ginger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I've heard I've heard rumors about Sam Darnold being the Saints' backup next year. Oh, oh. You said of being of being a ginger. <laughs> I've heard well, I tell you what, yeah, that Darnold greatest, being a ginger. I tell you what, if you want to ensure everybody roots for. Derek Carr uh, to be healthy. Derek Carr to be good and not get hurt. Um, why do you do this? Bring I'm Sam Darnold in. Yeah. Seeing Kobe ghosts Brissett. out there. So, what's next, Thomas? That was the final question, but we are going to do right. a mailbag after, right? We are. We are yes. going to do a mail. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So, uh, Thomas, give the people a, uh, a recap of uh, the MVP. Um and they tell us who's going to be on the board. It was getting tonight. shaky there at the end, uh, yeah, we, yeah, at the beginning. We weren't sure if we were going to make it. Thank you, guys. We weren't sure if we were going to make it, but now we're going to have MVP leader. Who's going to be on the board for next week? Yeah, tons of generosity. We reached two donation goals. Thanks to Budrich, to Aldi Mourinho, to Ranamak, to your boy Allen, to Andrew that, to Andrew himself, and to the MVP for the first I, time this off season, this draft season with forty eight point three Bakarus, who is. Do you want only who dot go for congratulations? Come on, Damn. come on. I feel like the WDG. Like I'm turning over the letters and I'm like. Make sure to send Ralph you, what you want him to write on the board. That's right. Hudak Golfer, DM it to By the way, Hudak Golfer, if you Dave ever come preferably. down to... Well, hold on. Hold on. Hudak Golfer, if you ever come to New Orleans, let me know, and I'll take you out golfing. We'll go out yeah. golfing. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, so big, big takeaway tonight is that Morstead would love to come back to the Saints. That's right. And if you're one of those people that is vocal on social media... I think we it, should all, yeah, all, like all, a hashtag all, or something going. All efforts do, yeah, we probably should, but all attempts do help. And bang that drum for Morstead to come back to the Saints. He would appreciate it. And my wife hates white people, especially me. <laughs> That's the takeaway from this yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Jesus, big picture, big picture, big picture. Gringo. Suck on this, bitch. Is that what's a gringo? Is that us? Are we gringos? We yes, are, we are we absolutely are. gringos. That's right. That's okay. right. Yeah, <laughs> Los all Blancos. four of us, every single one of us. Los so, Blancos. Thanks for listening and supporting Saints Happy. We can't You're do welcome, this without people. We You're can't welcome. do this without you. 
if more of you would support the show, we could do more amazing things. But we appreciate every single freaking one of you, 302 people who are monthly supporters Look. of the show. Uh, please go to saintshappyhour.com, become a patron, and support the show. We can't do it without you guys. Thanks to Dave, Andrew, Kevin, Thomas, and my wife. Uh, my wife. Tom, Thomas, my the best, wife. The best producer on earth running the show back in Poland. Remember, kids, if you're going to support a Saints podcast, you ought, to support, you ought to support the one that wins awards. And uh, that's it. Until next time, the bar is closed. That's Don't be a style, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs>